Hi beautiful souls, welcome to your safe place. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today's reading is going to be about a letter from your soulmate. It doesn't matter if you know them or you haven't met them. I just want you to focus on your soulmate. You can close your eyes and ask your higher self who is my soulmate or what would they say to me what would they wish to say if they write me a letter what it would be so we have three different letters these are channeled letters and i also picked some uh, oracle cards they are chosen but we are going to choose your tarot cards in the reading so let me introduce you letters this is going to be pile number one the red one this is going to be pile number two blue one and I also um, <laughs> had some stickers on them I put them on and this is going to be pile number three and it is the green one so you can choose your letters as I said before you can pause the video and take a moment to meditate on the letters then you can listen your envelope welcome back my dear pile number one so are you excited because I am really excited about your letter these are going to be your oracle cards I also channeled on them the symbols here you can look at them reconciliation this is very interesting message so maybe for some of you this can be a person you have already known and I see here lots of prayers lots of praise right here the angel so oh. yes oh sorry so I also have some songs for you <laughs> I wrote them here and I also um, put them below as links I listen uh, these songs while writing your letters. I just uh, had a mix. <laughs> I choose the songs randomly. Then I choose these oracle cards and finally I wrote your letter. So let's begin. <laughs> Hi my beautiful princess. They want to call you as princess. You can be also a prince, it doesn't matter, but this is their way of talking. And here you can see a smile. Maybe they, <laughs> this kind of people who just put um, punk shoes, maybe. I can't remember right now. Yes. So, how are you doing? I am missing you. I feel this empty place like a hole in my heart and it makes me uncomfortable so for some of you i believe this is a person like an ex-partner maybe ex spouse or maybe a friend a situation ship you know i believe they for some of you they know you but um whom don't know you for these people don't know you it is like you know this feeling I feel an empty place in my heart I believe there can be someone who can just 
feel this. Feel this blank, feel this emptiness. But I feel an empty space. I believe they are sensing that. And it makes them very uncomfortable with their selves. I believe they cannot enjoy the moment, enjoy the life right now. Meaning of life, feeling of unity only comes with you. I am sure of that. You are like an angel that makes me smile, happy, peaceful and comfortable with myself. I know sometimes both of us can be rebellious with each other. Maybe you or this person can be stubborn, like here this rebellious card, this archetype. Yeah, maybe. But this is our way of loving someone. You know, <laughs> love and hate relationship or uh, some people just uh, love drama, <laughs> love conflicts. These fights just uh, make their love stronger. Maybe this is your kind of relationship. I believe in destiny, but to be honest, I began to believe in karma with you. You are reward that I have been waiting from God. They have this kind of belief, I believe. I respect you so much and believe Believe me, it is not easy for somebody like me. Maybe because they are rebellious, they are stubborn. Maybe they are arrogant. I don't know. I believe they don't just um, respect people <laughs> easily. It is not something for them. Yeah. Right now, when you receive my letter, I know I know is not the best it's not the base I, I couldn't write it yeah it is not the best days of your life but believe me my angel things will not always be this way I promise everything is going to be changed in a much better way be aware of people around you who seems to be normal or friendly but work against you it's time for you to put some boundaries with these two-faced people. Yeah, with here this bat and here haystack. I believe uh, right now maybe you are facing some difficulties with people. If um, you haven't seen that, your soulmate just want to warn you about these people. Don't they just say, don't trust them. Be aware of the dangerous people. They are not friendly. They are like enemy. Yeah. And they uh, recommend to you, please put some boundaries, some healthy boundaries with these two-faced people. As soon as possible, I wish to come to you with a bouquet in my hands and say, I love you. <laughs> When the weather gets this cold and rainy, all I want is to stay at home with my darling and watch films all day. <laughs> right now, uh, we are in the month of December. <laughs> it is the last day of November and the beginning of December, 1st of December. So um, for the northern, <laughs> it is cold and rainy. And for some places, it is very uh, snowy, I guess. So they just wish to stay at home, watch movies, <laughs> very well, um, cozy home, cozy room. Yeah, cozy environment, cozy atmosphere, I believe. Yeah. Do you like Batman? Because <laughs> I do. Maybe not all superheroes but i really love batman yeah here this thing with also here the bat but also the feeling of batman <laughs> i don't know batman yeah 
when you get sick i promise i make i make you good soup <laughs> and here again a smile maybe it's a reference to that um you know these reels that kind of video mm, good soup <laughs> but i believe they are very uh protective of, of you they are very caring of you i am not the best chef but <laughs> I would love to feed my baby and hear smile again. I believe uh, they are going to treat you like a baby, <laughs> like a kitty, like a baby, like a puppy, this adorable little creature. I bet you are very cute and beautiful when you get cold with your little, little red nose and cheeks. <laughs> and I also, obviously, uh, they love when <laughs> you get cold, when you have this little red <laughs> nose, red cheeks. I believe they see you like you are so cute. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you again again this is for some of you this again and here um there is an urge to sign a letter like this i don't know if this flower have any meaning for you but they just wanted to do sign this like this flower okay and here your songs Missing You by John Waite and Nine Million <laughs> Bicycles by Kate and Melia. So, this was your letter. I believe they are very protective, very caring. And also maybe some of you, this can be, yes, a soulmate relationship, obviously, but maybe there is some kind of an um, past life connection right here this reconciliation maybe um you are from you know this sweethearts from <laughs> elementary school high school maybe from very young ages maybe this is like an um child's love at the beginning when you were both children <laughs> maybe you loved each other you liked each other but then um life intervened and the ways the paths separated and now maybe there is some kind of a soulmate connection with these people here and here you can see other symbols high stack purse and money coins crown bouquet teapot caterpillar and bat here with the crown maybe you or this person can be from uh, UK maybe Spain or any other country with rulers with monarchy maybe you or them living in a kingdom and here with the teapot it I don't know but it um, seem to me like Asia, China, Japan, maybe Korea, but mostly China or Japan, I don't know. Now, let's have a look at your tarot cards. We must have some space. And we are going to use this very beautiful deck this is Tarot of the Witch's Garden and it is the first time I am using this in a video so let's see pile number one What is your soulmate's message to you? Hmm. Four of Swords. Can you see the cards? It's the Four of Swords. Maybe you or them can be Red Hat. 
yeah and here it is beautiful red hat I am also a red hat <laughs> this is very beautiful with here this white cat and it can be also a significator for this um, reconciliation because you know four of swords comes after the sort of uh, three of swords it comes after a break after a separation after a pain maybe right now you or them can be in a healing situation it can be like a pause to life pausing everything else but just um an urge to sleep a lot it's not like depression but it can be a i want to just sleep situation you know <laughs> okay what is there your message to you pile number one okay six of wands hmm. maybe for some of you there is a distance between you and them maybe you are in different cities in different countries or even maybe in different continents you know okay what is your message to you Fool. two of pentacles king of cups and here at the bottom we see five of cups five of cups is also about loss pain depression <laughs> this is about depression grief yeah but it also means sometimes um, after a grief taking a step forward and leaving the past behind maybe you or them should leave the past behind to get together you know maybe this is the way maybe if you or them really um, having bad times because they said you're having a bad time this is not the best of the times it is difficult for you and people around you they are not all friendly and I believe maybe for both of you there can be a learning process a learning process for life yes life is a journey we are all learning okay but uh, this is somehow different this is a special kind of learning hmm. maybe they are students or uh, they take abroad to learn a language maybe for a degree yeah and I see here a, pe um, a person who moves forward after a loss a pain a breakup yeah right now um, maybe they are successful they are moving forward in life yes they can be very successful but this is not easy for them too they are learning and they are learning to manage their feelings their emotions with here this king of cups is the king of emotions is the king of emotions and here we see students the joker the fool here is a student also he has these books his dog yeah and here in three of pentacles we also see a kind of a learning process she is an apprentice obviously and she tries to um, 
master you know master her skills hmm I believe you are both in a learning process yeah if you are working if you are a um, working person I believe this is the first time <laughs> you are in a work environment you know maybe you are an intern or even if you are a working person this is like this is your very first year maybe you just graduated f from college and you just begin to work yeah and here I again see a distant that should be um, overcome yeah and here you cannot see each other right now you know you are both in a silent step yeah you are both silent at the moment you don't talk to each other or even maybe some of you you haven't met each other but when you are going to meet each other it's the time when uh, you and them you both lost some things you both um, had some kind of a pain a grief a mourning and after that healing process you are coming together and you two just um, begin a kind of a fresh start yeah this is the fresh start and they are saying like yes I am uh, in a situation I had to pause for a while but I am ready to achieve my goals and here with this fresh energy I am working on myself and after that I will be ready to give you my feelings my emotions because king of cups is someone um, who is ready to give his emotions they can take the responsibility of their emotions this is the case for king of cups yeah and here i can see here turtles and this is some kind of a fish but i cannot recognize right now and here this king also holds kind of a sphere yeah and here we see the times four weeks five months the month of august january february and the month of november maybe these um, times these months can be important for both of you yeah so what is the let's see what animal will you receive will you see when you encounter this soulmate let's see fire rat <laughs> a rat <laughs> with the fire with here the sun maybe you both like the sunsets yeah down and sunsets and here we see the word light and shadow and if you uh, look into closer look closer into the image you can see it is like the yin and yang yin and yang energy and here like this sphere also the constellation yeah this is also a circle and here we see a circle maybe your relationship with this person is some kind of a circle yeah 
light and shadow with the fire and the number is 13 13 um, is the number of that card in tarot and the death card is all about also transformations <laughs> endings and beginnings so maybe you had some kind of an ending with this person but you'll also have this beginning this new fresh start after this episode and this card also reminds us that um, there are both light and shadow in life at the very same time life is all about the duality yeah it's all about the oppositions if there is light there is also shadow shadow cannot be without light it's like the black and white this kind of relationship maybe you both have with each other so when you are close to meet these people maybe you'll see the rat as a symbol or as some kind of a, a real animal I don't know but uh, that must be very frequent not just one time I see a rat no you should see rat uh, a lot <laughs> at least three or five times you know like that and maybe the number of 13 can be important for you like the 13th of December or I don't know anything else yeah this can be important and here what zodiac signs we see Scorpio Libra Leo Aquarius Capricorn and again Scorpio maybe you or them can have this zodiac signs in your board chats so this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading <laughs> uh, if you subscribe to my channel i will be very motivated to these videos because this is something new for me to do this <laughs> as um, a video yeah so subscribe like or <laughs> leave a comment below I really appreciate this and thank you for your time so take care of yourself bye welcome back pile number two so let's see your letter from your soulmate the blue letter these are your oracle cards Club heels. These symbols may be important for you or them. You can take them as uh, symbols, as significators. Ear, broken wishbone, apple, leather. So you can look at them. And here also we see dreams. There is something about dreams in this deck. To let go and the artist yeah. let's read your letter and here uh, your song is I'll stand by you by pretenders let me um, describe you how I made this letter first I just choose randomly a song or songs after that I pick these oracle cards and then just look at them for a second and just channel the message so this is a very interesting letter <laughs> very interesting they say don't cry my precious this is very incredible very interesting way to start a letter don't cry my precious I know how it is hard sometimes to get heartbroken when you desire something or somebody it is like whole world to you but some dreams are not meant to be there is sadness and happiness in life at the same time 
I know right now all you can see is the obstacles life created for you. But I promise I will stand by you when we meet. You will not feel alone again. I know how, you dedica how dedicated you are. You are very creative and sensitive and talented. All world must see your creations and your dreams. You are the artist of my heart. You made me believe again and you made me love again. I adore every inch of your body and your body is like a temple for me. Let me hear, <laughs> take a break. Um, here they describe you as someone uh, who are very artistic, very talented, very sensitive. Maybe you have water signs in your chart. I don't know, but it can be. And they are saying uh, your wishes, your dreams right now. Um, are broken. Your wishes couldn't be granted to you. There are obstacles for you to go overcome. And there are some dreams. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't achieve, you couldn't reach, but they promise you, you are very talented and one day you will just uh, reach your dreams and you'll show your um, talents, your skills, your creations to the world. Yeah. Okay. And they also <laughs> obviously adore your body. They find you very sexy and here we see it here with the apple cart, temptation. Well, there we are. Yeah. You are my goddess of abundance, love, happiness and hope. There are billions of people on this world and you are the only one who can make sparkle my eyes again. I believe somehow you are giving this uh, person this um, inner fire, this light, you know, you have in your eyes. They, you make their eyes sparkly, bright again, shine again. I tested so many heartbreaks and failure in my life. And I lost my faith in everything. They are also heartbroken, you know. They are also heartbroken. And somehow um, they can understand your feelings about these heartbreaks, these failures. Yeah. Maybe you two both sharing the same destiny somehow. Until I meet you. Yeah. I lost my faith in everything until I meet you. When we come together, we are going to overcome everything together. We'll be successful together. Oh God, <laughs> I really can't stand this. I know how it is going to be amazing when we are together. Yeah, they just cannot wait to see it, you know, because they sense that they have this feeling we are going to be successful together we are going to achieve our dreams together i cannot wait for this this is the situation for them they are very excited yeah they are very excited <clears throat> i want to whisper love words to your ear <laughs> and some dirty words also yeah they are a thing for your ears maybe they find it seductive or you can find it seductive to whispering into ears. I want to kiss you from your ears. I want to smell your hair and get drunk with your sweet aroma and taste. <laughs> yeah, they just want to smell your hair and get into your aroma like you are some kind of um, uh, tasty wine, you know your smell, your taste, your aroma, just make them drunk. <laughs> yeah, this is very beautiful. Maybe you want to see every museum in the world, but you are my museum of perfection. 
and if you are this kind of an artist or maybe you are into uh, history art i don't know maybe um if you want to visit every <laughs> museum in the world they know that and they say yeah you like to see museums by but i want to see you <laughs> you are my museum yeah you are some kind of um you know this ancient uh ancient yeah ancient <laughs> this old um antique god or goddess to them you are this kind of um perfection for them like greek statues you know yeah like greek art hellenistic art maybe god must be the greatest artist since he created you <laughs> and here you can see a smile yeah they appreciate the god's work <laughs> on you they see you as the greatest art in the world and you made by god can't wait to see you this is also again an excited statement because here you can see exclamation yeah you're crazy fun and it is their signature for you they want to um sign this letter as you're crazy fan <laughs> they are an admirer they are a fan yeah they are your one cl fan club with just one person maybe <laughs> they this much into you yeah you are very special for them not like anybody you know you are just mesmerizing them with your beauty with your aura yeah with your energy so this was your letter from them uh, let's see your tarot cards pile number two pile number two what your soulmate want to tell you about your relationship what your soulmate wish to tell you about this your relationship ace of pentacles this is a very fresh but very solid beginning you know you can see here a house after that gate after that uh, door there is a home i believe they are this kind of people who always wishes to have a home with their wife or husband with kids or animals and here you can see a little spider and this spider always reminds me of um, architecture engineering maybe you or them can be in this um, fields engineering architecture anything involves um, designing something you know designing something designing projects and they uh, describe you as someone who is artist so maybe you are like that i don't know king of wands again a very um, powerful figure you can see here a uh, candle beautiful sun card yeah this is like a ceremony you know like a wedding like a commitment these are uh, those and these with the sunflowers maybe you love sunflowers or maybe they want to give you sunflowers and you know this sun um flower is like when there is a sun or there is sun they just move their direction move their faces to sun so they are like fan of sun and they describe themselves <laughs> as the fan of you 
your crazy fun, fun of you, admirer of you. This is like um, worship. <laughs> this is like worship. And here with the sunflower, you know, you can see their faces to the sun. You are sun and they are this sunflower. But I believe you are both going to share this uh, feeling. Yeah, they see you like that as their son, but I believe also you will see them as your son. The source of life. Sun is the source of life. There is life in earth because there is sun. It is our energy source. Yeah. Without sun, there cannot be any life. Yeah. And without you, they cannot be themselves. They cannot have this um, urge to live. They cannot have this urge to achieve their dreams. You are their source of achievement. Yeah. You are their life energy. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck we see the Knight of Cups. And also Knight of Cups is all about the uh, sensitive, creative person. This is like an artist also. And you can see here uh, she painted some kind of these flowers, these yellow flowers. And this is her armor, you know, but she just took them off. Yeah. I believe when you meet each other, you just, both of you, take your armor, take your walls down, you know. Sometimes we have boundaries, we have walls against people. Me and my husband also had some <laughs> sometimes before our relationship this kind of walls because we had so many heartbreaks you know this was hard to believe in someone and also they are saying you know here can I see that yeah there are billions of people on this world and you are the only one who can make sparkle my eyes again i lost my faith in everything until i meet you you are their son that is why you can make their eyes sparkle this is your shining you know this is your light and you make them shine again like a diamond <laughs> yeah and when you uh, getting to know each other, I believe you just, both of you, take your armor off, put somewhere and just be yourselves with each other. Yeah, this is a fresh start. This is a new beginning for you. And maybe right now you and them, uh, you know, we just sometimes envy people we just compare ourselves with people and can you see here people are happy they are in warm they are in confidence they are safe but here we can see the woman she is acting suspicious you know maybe this she is the uh, thief or maybe she just want to be a part of this group but she cannot be and if you are feeling like that like I cannot be a part of any group I believe this person will change it and here oh I see a symbol can you see the Scorpio here but this is the king of wands. This is the uh, card of Leo. It's zodiac signs is Leo. Can you see here Leos? 
the lions but here we see a Scorpio hmm very interesting yeah yeah very interesting maybe you or them can have Scorpio in your birth charts and here we see other zodiac signs as Pisces Leo again Capricorn Aquarius as and I said before Leo but the ace of Pentacles is pure earth energy and we can say Virgo Capricorn and Taurus at the same time yeah I believe they are saying we are both going to be source of success for each other source of energy source of success for each other and we will begin to believe in our destiny begin to believe in ourselves you'll get confidence with each other yeah this is very beautiful you will support each other and you will climb this ladder bit together to the success yeah so let's see which animal are you going to see a lot <laughs> when you are about to meet the soulmate of you which animal water horse oh it's very beautiful yeah here we see 19 and 19 is the number of sun card <laughs> and here you can see a big shiny sun I believe sun will be very important for both of you maybe you will meet each other in a uh, you know sunny day and maybe even Sunday you know <laughs> maybe it is the day of sun obviously here we can see water horse It's the element of water and the animal is horse and you can see here a pair of dolphins yeah, maybe it can be your significator, you know. Dolphins. Dolphins and horses. Yeah. If you begin to see both of them or maybe one of them a lot, maybe this is the time for you to meet your soulmate. And let's see your message. A path to independence. Yeah. As I said before, you both uh, will gain your confidence back yeah you will get this life energy and after that you will feel very independent and i believe you two make one you know you two someday make one and you may feel very independent from other people may um independent from society yeah because you two will act like one you know this is very um beautiful unity i believe so pile number two this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading and if you do please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and you can like the video and share with the people you love so i wish to see you back take care of yourself bye welcome back pile number three let's see what your soulmates message for you these are your oracle cards let's see them there can be uh, symbols indicators four leaf clover gong clothes 
October, month of October, leg and love <laughs> with these beautiful hearts, animals. Um, feeling like an feeling like a victim yeah this is the feeling of being a victim and here we see a trickster yeah so let's see your letter uh, let me first explain how I wrote this letter for you this is a channeled letter yes but first I just choose a random song and here we see a, um, two songs sleeping satellite by tasman archer and one of these nights by eagles uh, 2013 edition and then i pick these oracle cards just have a look at them for a second then just wrote what had been channeled to me yeah <laughs> We will fly to the moon together. This is from this song. We will fly to the moon together. This is a question for you. I didn't describe myself as a lucky person until I met you. I don't know if we meet or not, but it doesn't matter. It is going to be the first thing I'll say when I meet you someday. Yeah, maybe this can be their very first thing when they meet you. I always consider myself somehow a victim, yeah, who doesn't have any chance. I have never found happiness in love. Nobody loved me back, however, my love, you. Maybe until you, um, no one really loved them, you know, maybe they had relationship, maybe they just went out, maybe they had dates. Or even maybe they had marriages, you know, but they believe until you, nobody really loved them. Yeah. You are the definition of real love. And here they just <laughs> put a little black heart for you. You are the definition of real love for me. You are my love, my teacher, my guide, my friend, my everything. This is not unlike other relationships. I have been always abandoned, betrayed by the people I loved until I found you. Yeah, maybe they just um, had so many distractions, so many, you know, these trickster people. And they just get abandoned, betrayed. And they were always victims according to their self also yeah if i say to you you are not a human being you must take it as a compliment because you are above all of people maybe you are like an angel you know you are not human being because they see like humans are bad you know people are bad but you are you cannot be a uh, person you cannot be a part of people community Maybe you are an alien, you know, maybe you are an alien, an angel to them, uh, some kind of an, you know, this spiritual, very <laughs> mystic kind of creature. Yeah. You must be a different species, maybe an angel. <laughs> I love the fall, autumn. It is very romantic. They love the... Um, maybe month of October but also the season of fall I love animals and maybe someday you and I can raise a kitten or a puppy also I hope you love magic tricks because I love them <laughs> I love wizard stuff do I have to say I love Harry Potter? I wish one day we can do a marathon together. And here these heart eyes. <laughs> they wish to um, have a movie night. Or even movie nights, you know, like a marathon to watch Harry Potter with you. I hope you also love 
moonlit nights so we can watch it together and who knows maybe i can purpose to you one of these nights and here you can see this <laughs> smiling with this eyes um maybe they wish to propose you in a very uh, romantic night with moonlight maybe with a uh, full moon in the sky you know maybe this is their wish i believe when we see each other we will know that we are soulmates not just in this world but in every other universe and timelines i am yours and you are mine i promise i will find you very soon and here again a heart and they signed the letter as yours and yours only <laughs> they are very um how can i say they are very hopeful you know hopeful about your hopeful about your relationship with each other a and they are not even comparing you you know this is not in comparison um you are different you are all above above from all of the people and even maybe you are um how can i say out of their league you know you are maybe too much for them yeah you are too much for them maybe you are more beautiful more handsome maybe more successful or maybe you just love more them yeah your love is very special and this experience with you uh, will not be ordinary you know and they just uh, will know this person is my soulmate yeah this someone is very special because you are their uh, luck in this life and when they meet you when you meet each other maybe you and them uh, get luckier in your personal lives you know there is a sense of luck here and also uh, very exciting events one and after and i believe life um, is going to be changed you know in a very radical way yeah so let's see your tarot cards let me take this here to get some space what is your soulmate is telling you about this relationship three of pentacles it also came in um, pile number one you can watch them three of wands and here we see a <laughs> night with here moon full king of swords nine of swords yeah i believe uh, they will just have this uneasy feelings until they meet you maybe um they cannot sleep at night they can have some kind of an insomnia you know and then when they meet you night yeah night sleeps they get it will just uh, get much better and here we see page of fonts <laughs> very beautiful page of fonts oh this is also very beautiful the star card yeah you are their luck this is obvious <laughs> this is obvious there is no suspicious here you are their luck 
you can see this is the page of wands you are like um light a candle light maybe a campfire maybe that lightens up their night i believe this person just doesn't love the night in a daytime because they just cannot sleep they are all alone with their opinions their emotions their thoughts and this is not something easy for them and they are promising like i'll do whatever you want to make you happy to make a fresh start with you they just want to leave their past behind with here this three of wands because it is also um, about turning your back to your um, past you know leaving past behind and looking into new horizons looking into your future in a very bright way and here after that we see the fool and when they meet you they are much more wiser maybe they can be uh, some kind of middle age you know after 25 or 30 it's not have to be but that can be here we see a beaver dog all cat here like a lizard very little lizard and here we see a fox maybe these animals can be also important but this person obviously uh, loves animals more than people <laughs> more than human beings they love animals and when you both have this relationship you'll have more than one yeah more than one animal together you'll just <laughs> parent them raise them and this person here loves to read yeah they have so many books and because they cannot sleep at night maybe they just um read and read and read you know they do some research study maybe they are in the field of education because they are also very wise but it is also a young spirit yeah actually they are very joyful but it is hard for them to trust people easily and that's why maybe um, they can be seen very cold from outside like a cold distant person maybe like an arrogant person but they are not they just dislike people <laughs> this is the case they have trust issues yeah and here just women like goddess yeah she seems like a goddess and i believe um you will be a symbol for them a symbol for the future for a new page for a new luck in their life and here we see the zodiac signs as Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius and Aquarius again and here Gemini maybe these zodiac signs can be on their birth chart or yours and here we see the month of October no um, January and February a lot March here and also maybe for some of you June yeah so let's see what animal what animal 
are you going to see a lot when you about to meet this person oh this is very sweet wood rabbit it looks very innocent <laughs> it's uh 52 number 52 maybe that can be important here we see pink leaves pink trees and the um, advice is follow your curiosity yeah following our curiosity and here I have a sense like that um, to meet these people maybe you should do something you really love and you really enjoy you have enthusiasm you know enthusiasm i couldn't say you have curiosity yeah like a hobby or like an um new job new career field maybe maybe doing some gardening stuff maybe doing some um stuff with you know painting crafting something drawing something designing maybe that can be the time when you meet this person because it is like you are in a very different environment this is not like your usual environment this is a strange place maybe you are here um, for the very first time and you just excited and you are very um, you know mesmerized by the environment you are like you, you are like you have shock <laughs> yeah this is a new hobby new career i don't know maybe new social environment and if you see the rabbit a lot like a symbol or maybe even uh, for real if you see a rabbit a lot then you may about to meet your soulmate my friends so this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do please subscribe to my channel uh, i really do appreciate this because it makes me motivate obviously um you can leave a comment below uh, i can take your suggestions for new videos and uh please like the video and share with your loved ones so take care of yourselves and i wish to see you back bye